On an icy rock on the edge of space, there lived a girl who wondered about the universe and dreamed of adventure. One day while out exploring, she met a curious creature called Grit, full of tales of the galaxies, who told of a place where dreams die without a sound. Ruled by the wicked King Dullard, who sought to cover the world in dullness and was about to hide every last wondrous idea. But together they could stop him. And so they blast off on a dangerous quest. King Dullard learns of their plans, unleashing his minions. But they fight their way through to the dull drums. But it's too late. Dullard has gathered all curiosity to scatter it forever. Best ideas break apart and scatter across the depths of space. Now, one by one, they must retrieve these curiosity particles, in which are trapped all sorts of wondrous notions. Navigating from their mission control, rebuilding the untold universe, Galaxy by galaxy. Particle by particle. And all along this epic journey, you must defy the fearful King Duller. Along your quest to unlock galaxies. Appears that I'm on Selene, the fourth moon of Glacium. Whoa! I, are you real? Am I real? I'm not the one that just popped out of a box. My apologies. It's just that I thought all of your people had been destroyed. I... I'm sorry. Sorry? For what? I couldn't protect the tome. I failed you.
that make up all things. There are only 118 that we know about, but they combine to form everything in the universe. We are here today to talk about what we think are the coolest elements of all time. What are they, and why are they the coolest? Coming in tenth is chlorine. Not only can you find it in a pool, but it's simultaneously both toxic and essential to life. Plus, it's green. Pretty cool, huh? In ninth, we have mercury. It's unique in that it is one of the few metals that is liquid at room temperature. Rumor has it that the casket of the Chinese emperor, Qin Shi Huang, is surrounded by a lake of this stuff, which would make it difficult for archaeologists to excavate. Can you believe they used to make thermometers with this stuff? Yikes! Hello, Gnome Cone employees! Today we are going to learn about graphs and what they can do for you. There's tons of information you'll need to keep track of as a Gnome Cone employee, and you'll need to learn how to present it in a visual way that others can understand. That's why you'll need to know about graphs. Today, we're going to talk about three different types of graphs that show three different kinds of data. Thank you. 